What's up guys, this is Creative Loft, and I've been drawing dogs lately, in case you're wondering. This, these, this is my grandparents' dog, and I had a lot of fun drawing him, so I wanted to draw some more dogs, and I thought I'd show you my process of drawing dogs. I'm going to draw some different breeds of dogs, and I just want to say, I banged out another video really fast. It hasn't even been a week because it's really hot and smoky where I am right now because there's lots of forest fires. So it's hot. Now, I'm first drawing a duck toller. Sorry I didn't get the recording for the sketch of this dog. Um, I deleted the recording by accident. Um... In case you don't know what a duck toller is, they're like a golden retriever, except more golden-y, gold, golden, golden-y, and um, they have white patches and pink noses. So I love them; they're super cute, and I really want one. I struggled to find the right color for this dog. It was so hard because I don't have that rich golden reddish color so I had to mix my orange peel orange and my hazelnut brown together to make a sort of nice color to make a sort of mixture of the color but it turned out kind of patchy and he looks like a pumpkin so I will redraw him again and it will look better the second time I don't really like him, so we're gonna draw him again. And hopefully there's some improvement and he doesn't look like a pumpkin. A very mad pumpkin it's sticking out his tongue. Now, I did the same thing that I did for the first one. And I don't change it up except from the second one. I make him smile, more like in the reference photo. And I ended up just using the hazelnut color to color him in. Hopefully that will look a little bit better than that color that I did before. There, I have finished my second attempt at drawing a duck toller, and I think he looks a lot more like the reference, and he's a lot cuter. I didn't get that duck toller color in any of them, but I think I got both of them 
pretty close. The second one's not as close, but it doesn't look as splotchy. So I'm happy with it. There's definitely some improvement. There's still things I would change. But overall, it's quite a lot better, and I am proud of it. Okay, after finishing that duck toller, I was super satisfied for it, with it, so I decided to draw one more dog. And I really felt like drawing a cute puppy with big eyes, so I found this reference picture of a pug puppy, a pug pup, pug pup, pug pup, yeah, let's try and say that ten times fast. And um, I found it in an article called The Science Behind Puppy Dog Eyes. So I thought it was really cute because I really wanted to draw a um, dog with big eyes. And so I thought it'd be perfect to turn it into a cartoon. So that's what I'm doing. And it had lots of chubby body parts, all the wrinkles on its face and stuff. I thought it was just so adorable. So I tried to emulate the important ones. And I think it turned out pretty good, except the puppy dog eye me so much trouble. It was so hard to draw it. I would think, wow, that's going to be easy to draw a super cute eye, but it's not. I had to get it the exact right angle. I, I even have to practice, practice in a corner. It was so hard, but I like how it turned out. So sit back and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, now I'm going in with the line art, and I wasn't going to do the line art because I really liked how the sketch turned out, and I was worried if I went in with line art, I was going to ruin it. And so I almost didn't do it, but then I'm like, uh, it's worth a shot. I made sure to take a picture of the sketch so I wouldn't lose it. And honestly, the line art turned out really great, and I colored it after, and it looks great. So really happy and the pose was really fun to draw. I've never really drawn a dog in that sort of pose and because of his chubby little body he's still fun so yeah. So I'm starting to go in with the color. I had a little trouble finding a good color because the pug is this kind of really light, milky brown. Wow, well, I'm not good at <laughs> describing colors. And um, kind of a navyish black color. So uh, I didn't have that right brown color. I used the beige and it ended up being really good. It looked a little too pink at first, but once it dried, it looked more brown, so I'm really happy with that. And as for the black, um, the black that I have is actually sort of a navy color, which is the exact color in the picture. So it worked out really well and you can still see the line art. And yeah, the shading was easy and the coloring turned out great. I added a few splotches of um, the black in other places because I felt it wasn't enough to just have it on the face and the ears.
And I'm done. I loving how he turns out. He looks adorable. Oh my gosh. And I hope you like this video and drew along with me. And like and subscribe. I definitely hope I can do this again. Bye.